target today, but not for what you think. <laughs> I'm actually meeting this lady. Um, I found these beautiful chairs on Facebook Marketplace. And so I'm meeting her in the Target parking lot to buy them and throw them in the back of my car. But they look really, really beautiful. And they kind of have a bit of a Frenchy type look to them, but they're a reproduction chair from Magnolia. And she said that she paid $500 per chair for these. And I am getting them both for $125 and they are so stunning. I'm getting them for my mom right now. We both love that sage green color to decorate with and I feel like that's a color that, that works really well for my mom's decor and mine as well. These chairs just look so perfect and my mom wants just two dining room chairs that are really comfortable but still beautiful. So I'm heading over there now. I might bop in. I haven't done actual like normal people retail shopping in a long time. So I might kind of wander around cause I do need to get some cleaning products. I'm gonna try my very, very best to avoid the candle aisle. <laughs> That's the danger zone. <laughs> if you could only have smell-o-vision right now because my car smells so delish. This is the first time I've ever put an air freshener in my car and I don't know why I waited so long. This thing is so cool. This is from Drift and they make all eco-friendly car air fresheners and they have different scents of the month. It's like a limited release. So this month I got bootlegger and it is like so sexy. I don't know if you'd say this is a girly scent or a manly scent. It's just a sexy scent, but it kind of has like a cedary smell and it's like a velvety pear with cedar. I don't know. It smells so good, but these little scent blocks are totally eco-friendly and they just magnetically clip on this little clippy do. <laughs> and you just slide it onto your visor. Anyhow, I put th that up here and I feel like I'm having this like magical aromatherapy experience while I'm out thrifting today. It's awesome. <laughs> Anyhow, if you want to check out Drift, I think you're going to love them. I snagged an extra discount for you too if you use my code here or visit the link down in my description box. This is the house that the estate sale is in and it was built in 1908. It's actually four stories. Now the most exciting part, I got my mom this amazing table the first time I was in here. This is actually our second round through, but the table was buried and I just saw um, these really beautiful carved faces on it. And it was buried in the corner and she's like 25 bucks. So I came back with Pete and the truck and the guy said he'd help get it off the porch here. There it is. That's so neat. That's so cool that it has casters too. It just needs to be oiled or maybe like a sealant over it. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, I think we can put a sealant over this veneer. That's really neat. $25. Hi. Is this a drawer? These look like drawers. I'll have to play with that when I get home. Oh yeah, they are. That's nice. Very cool. I think this will be a fun little project. Maybe we could do a, like a slightly darker stain on it because my mom likes dark wood. And then I could put a verithane to kind of seal it over. Yeah. 
Yeah, it does look like that. I was thinking we could stain it again and then put some sealant on there. That'll be super cool. My mom needs like a little kitchen table just for two. Well, what happened to the door? You take it out? I, they're just sitting over there. So what we got to do is kind of like lift and then set it down on its feet. Okay. So you're going to be on this side. I'm just looking at it. You can't look at it anymore. That's cool that this is on casters. Yeah. That's awesome. Lift and set it on its side. Okay. Where are you lifting up at the bottom? Like here. Okay, hold on. Let me get a grip somehow. There you go. Yeah. It's strong Selena. I muster strength when I need to. <laughs> you got motivated. <laughs> it's in there. <laughs> Oh, cool. Yeah, my mom was looking for a, um, a little dining room table. That's enough for two people. Uh, because, I'll tell you why in another another world. Wait a minute, why is this? So they go all the way through. Well, not all the way through, but all the way full depth. Okay. There's one on each side. What? Yeah. Oh, there's one. So on like each. it's it's this long, but, Interesting. You know, but it only goes out this way. That's where because I was pulling on the other side on yeah, this one. Yeah, like oh, there's there, only one. Yeah, there are two handles, so it looks like yeah, you yeah. could, but they're accessible only from the, one from each side. This is so cool. Yeah, this thing. I wish I would have got a video when it was in the house, but I was there the first time all by myself, <laughs> and it was like glorious. Or else I would have brought Pete with me. But um, this was crammed in the corner, like they had a TV on top of it, and then like there was a buffet and a piano and all these things, and I just saw these carved faces. I was like, what is that? And I just went like this when it was sitting in the corner so I could feel if it was wobbly or not, yeah. you know? Um, and it felt sturdy, and I was like, end of story. Like, I don't need to know anymore, you know? Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> I was like, how much do you want for that table with the faces on it in the corner? She's like, I don't know, 25 bucks. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I'll come back at noon. <laughs> Pete has a haul for you guys today. <laughs> yeah, so we got a brand new set of rain gear. Carhartt. Carhartt. The tags are on this one, but not the jacket, but you can tell they're like the same. So, and I don't know how old these tags are, but it was like, 50 bucks for the for the 50 bucks for the pants so the jacket was maybe the same like on sale yeah yeah, yeah you got yeah. the bibs they're, they're like rain bibs carhartt ones pete always uses these like either when he goes fishing or like for pressure washing or doing stuff you know all the work i make him do right. <laughs> oh you we got a, another clam shovel this is cool so i don't know if you'll be able to see it but it's it's stamped in there it was made it's handmade by Northwest Propeller. So Astoria is like a like a port town up here in Oregon and there's a shop that works on like big ships and they they hand make big propellers and so then they weld clam shovels too. Apparently. It's probably a really good quality one yeah, if they super make propellers. Heavy. Super heavy. So how much oh hold on. Yours was was twenty five bucks. Twenty five for everything, including your Yeah. So the table is twenty five and then oh well, yeah. yeah, you already had all this stuff, but I didn't share that yet. Oh, I'm oh, sure. Yeah. I got these little dishes. These were hidden. They had this like cool bookshelf that was uh, right behind the door, like where everyone was checking out, but no one was looking at the shelf. And so I kind of moved the door ajar and these beautiful dishes were on the shelf with all the books and they have old signatures on the back and they're all hand painted. These are real and they're all different. I think I have seven of them no six yeah i have seven wasn't this one pretty look at that it has like wisteria on it oh look at that one they're all in the garden yeah they're all different and i i looked them up on etsy because i did like that google image search i always tell you about and they're like 15 dollars a plate online so that was a good find. And then I thought this was so cute. I'm gonna put her on my website. I'm gonna clean her up and stuff cause she's dusty, but look at the little Marie Antoinette. And it's like a little container. Wouldn't that be pretty in, in a, uh, on a vanity or in a bathroom or something? I just thought she was really beautiful and it's an old one. 
I thought she was cute. And then, well, this is what I actually went there. So we have construction stuff going on in our house right now. And I told Pete, I was like, I gotta go to this estate sale because there's this East Lake Victorian shelf I need. Um, I don't know if you remember, but my mom and I were at the Albany Antique Mall and I was looking for one of these and couldn't find it. And I just wanted something that was like pretty much just like the one that I have. So I could put one on either side of the bathtub for like toothbrushes and lotions and things. And so I was hoping that this would still be there because it was actually screwed on to their wall. And I was telling Pete, I was like, you know what I found going to estate sales is that people don't always look up. They don't look at light fixtures or things that are up on like big shelving units. And then they also kind of bypass things that are like attached to walls. And when people are selling stuff out of the house, normally it's like everything goes. And so I was hoping that this would still be there because it was stuck to the wall. And my theory was correct because I ended up getting this for only $25 and I don't even have to do anything to it. I cleaned it off when I got home because it's pretty dusty and stuff, but somebody already did Verithane and everything on it. So I'm going to leave it as is. But yeah, Victorian East Lake. And then I got this for my mom too, cause you know, she likes wood carvings. And look how big she is. It's this giant nude lady. Like my mom could even use her for like a doorstop or something, but it's all carved from, from one piece of wood. So that's pretty neat, but she's super cool. I paid $40 for this one, but I love my mom, so. the chairs and they are gorgeous i cannot wait to show them to you and get them out of this car the color of the green velvet is perfection you know my mom's like, crane mural that we did in her kitchen like that more soft green this is gonna pair so beautifully and we were talking back and forth about like kind of the new direction this uh decor is gonna go but anyhow they're super pretty the lady that i bought them from is moving right now and she said she has a lot of other really cool things that she's gonna be selling so she's gonna message me and, and see if I'm interested in any of those things for my mom too so I think my mom's gonna be pumped though because they're gorgeous can't wait to get them on the car I mean I don't know if this could be a more perfect match I love how these complement each other the cool thing is I think is that these chairs are a reproduction chair so they're modern but they literally look like they could go with this table which I think is probably late 1800s maybe really early 1900s because look at the feet they almost have like a claw like look just like the antique table does I don't think my mom and I are gonna do too much work on this table itself I know it's got some some peeling on the veneer I might look into that that's something I've never dabbled with I've done like typical furniture refinishing but I've never done veneer type work I don't think it's that difficult so I might do some some research here on YouTube but if you've done it yourself please comment below and let me know if you have any tips on how you think the skill level is on that one maybe we'll do that I don't know I'll see what my mom thinks but I think we might be able to just do some small repair work on here and kind of preserve what is you know my mom and I with antiques we don't really like them to be perfect we like the imperfections because that's what makes them cool and an antique, you know, but I can't believe these chairs are so perfect I like the nice wide seats on them and the velvet color I can't stop talking about but I really love this kind of really soft sagey muted green and I love that they're like really Comfortable, you know, sometimes with antique chairs, they're beautiful to look at but they aren't so comfortable to sit in and These are like they're checking all the boxes for me over here I feel like if I were to redo my own dining room I might choose more like softer colors like this I love this kind of like unfinished look of the pine and then more muted tones like a soft peaches and greens and very dusty blues and stuff but you know decor isn't forever so maybe someday I can change my mind but until then I think that my mom's really gonna dig this because she loves jungle type things and she especially loves gothic style antiques and so I'm really excited to show her this set you know when like you're on a roll with thrifting and I feel I feel like today is that day. Today is a very blessed thrift day. And when that happens to you, just you have to keep going. So I'm gonna be going to Goodwill too and see what they got because it is Monday and I know everybody like cleans out their garage over the weekends. So yeah, that's like the most merry, happy day to go thrifting. So I'm gonna go see what they got.
By the way, I'm sitting in my front yard right now, so hopefully nobody walks by and thinks I'm a total weirdo out here doing a thrift haul in the driveway. But um, while I was in Goodwill, I got this really cool olive branch wreath, and I've seen a Magnolia on their website with these type of wreaths, and I think they're really pretty. They're super simple looking, but I think there's something like warm and harvest-like about it. Maybe I'll do this on my dining room table. Maybe my mom might, might like it, but I was gonna do a little thought for you here on my mom's dining room table since we're out here right now, so hang tight. I got such a good deal on this wreath. It was like half off, I think, today. So it was $1.99 for this wreath. And I think these online go for quite a bit, so that was a really good deal. One thing I wanna share with you about wreaths and faux flowers in general is that when you get them, you always wanna fluff them. It's kinda of like when you get a Christmas tree and you need to spread the branches out. So most of the time when they're in the stores, they literally just come out of the box and they pop them on the shelf because they wanna hurry and get merchandise out. But when you get them home, take your time and like spread out each of the leaves. You see how they're all on wires? That really creates a more natural type look and pop them up, you know, just like a normal branch would be out in the wild. Pop them up and out and just kind of get them all going and fluffed. It really makes a difference. So like if you have fake flowers in your vases at home, you know, walk around and kind of tilt the flowers down just like a natural weight of a bloom would be or the way a natural leaf would move and that can kind of elevate your fake flowers to looking a little bit more natural. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it like that. So my thought was with all of my goodies over here on the left side, these candles I've had for years and I, want, I gotta show you these because I always get a ton of questions on these and I reached out to the brand and I don't even think they're in business anymore, but these were pre-dripped candles and I got them years ago at Home Goods. I have, this is the largest one that I have. If they ever do go back in business or the brand messages me, I'll definitely let you guys know because they're really cool. But my thought was to add these kind of big drippy candles in with the fall look, the plates, of course, a little bit of lace, because why not? And these really cool natural placemats. love my cabbage dishes. It's probably one of my favorite garage sale collections because they work for me in the spring and summer and they also work in the winter months depending on how I kind of style them up and the colors that I pair with them. But I've been seeing them more and more at Goodwill now, which is super cool, but I'm still on the hunt for the big water pitcher. That's like the last piece that I need to complete my collection. But the coolest thing was while I was at Goodwill, I was on the dish aisle and I spotted this really beautiful, true, chinoiserie serving platter. And I can't believe it, but it matches all of the cute little dishes that I got. These are just so pretty. And I can't believe when you really look at these and you think about all of the time that it must have taken to be able to hand paint these beautiful dishes. The colors are just stunning. And look at this, like see, this is another example of why I love these cabbage plates so much. You could easily pair them with these gorgeous chinoiserie pieces. But these are all of the little dishes that I ended up getting at that estate sale. I think these are just so pretty. I especially love this one with the wisteria. I'm not sure if these are all different seasons or what the significance of the scenes are, but they literally look like pieces of art. I feel like if I was someone who loved those, uh, 
plate walls where you hang all the beautiful decorative plates, these ones would definitely be like pieces of art. That's cool, this is another wisteria one. This one looks like chrysanthemums maybe. And then the final one there. Aren't those so pretty? And they're all in beautiful, beautiful condition. been a good day. We went junkin' and we're gonna go out for lunch and then maybe put this little shelf up for me this weekend. Ooh, wow. yeah. <laughs> One thing at a time. <laughs> Love you. Love you. Thanks for going with me today. Yeah, we had fun. And thanks for watching. <laughs> we'll see yeah. you uh, next time. Bye. <laughs> thanks a bunch to Drift for sponsoring today's video. If you'd like to check it out, click the link in my description box and use code BOMBSHELL for 55% off your first month.